you know, white, white cap mushrooms had over 100 known carcinogens, but also spinach, kale, lettuce, celery, cabbage, cucumber, broccoli, literally given pages and pages of every plant that you've ever come across in the grocery store, and not a single one had less than 60 known human carcinogens in them. They were quite abundant. We have research from Professor Bruce Ames from Berkeley in the 1980s that, that uh, actually went into this, which we'll uh, go on to in a minute. Um, we were quite taken aback by this, obviously. We were, we were very, very shocked, as some of you may be right now. And I remember thinking in my head, like, well, but vegetables are still good for you, though, right? And our professor must have just read our minds. He looked at us like, you guys aren't getting this. And he just said, I don't eat salads. I don't eat vegetables. I don't let my kids eat vegetables. Plants are trying to kill you. <laughs> So I was like, right, forget plants. And I just stopped. And uh, you go to the grocery store and everything has plants, right? Everything's in, it either is plants or has plants in the ingredients. And I just walked around and I just came across it's eggs and meat. I'm like, okay, well, I just always eat eggs and meat. And that's what I did for a number of years and had massive health benefits. I was, I was playing uh, professional rugby while in, in uh, university and my athletic performance as well as just my physical health just increased dramatically. It was just night and day difference. And, uh, and, I, and again, still feeling those positive results 22 years later.